Hello there, friends and family. I hope you all are doing fantastic. Another exciting day here in Nanaba's Kitchen. Welcome, each one of you. Today on the menu, we are preparing a delicious oven grilled fish. So friends, the fish we are having for lunch today is yellow pompano, which has become one of my favorites because it has a clean ocean flavor. We are going to spice it up with our very delicious West African suya spice mix. Now the suya spice mix has a roasted peanut flour base and we use special African spices in making it. Today we're going to use spices that are available right now in your own pantry to mimic the flavors. We are then going to lay the fish on a bed of very nutritious vegetables and then we'll bring all the flavors together by using Nanaba's kitchen shiitake. Oh, so delicious. Let's wash our hands and begin. So friends, it is time to make our spice mix and the foundation of it is the roasted peanut flour. And by the way, this is available at Walmart, which is where I got this one. It is available on amazon.com at any of your local grocery stores. You can find roasted peanut flour. Here's our peanut flour, and I measured a cup full of that. Crushed black pepper, salt, cayenne pepper, smoked paprika, ginger powder, chicken seasoning, granulated onion, and granulated garlic. And then you wanna stir it till it's evenly incorporated. And you wanna also taste for a confirmation of seasoning at this point. And of course you want to season to your own preference. So if I take a pinch, season perfectly. Oh, it's so, so good. So friends, here come our fish. I have two large pieces of yellow pompano, which has become one of my very favorite fish. Um, it has no scales. It has been gutted and cleaned already. So it's easy peasy. All I'm gonna do now is make some incisions in there. You know how it is. You want your marinade to penetrate into the very bone of the fish. And that's what makes it delicious. So yeah, I make these incisions, about four of them. And I go and make another one across and it's so pretty, you know, it has that cross hatch uh, look, look to it when it's done cooking and it's just very beautiful. So yeah, once those incisions are made on both, I'm going to proceed to apply my marinade. And this is shito made right here in Anabas kitchen. And this is now available to you no matter what part of the world you live in. Um, I have partnered with a store here in Fe the Phoenix metropolitan area. It, he will distribute it to you no matter what part of the world you live in and uh, you just have to contact the store I have all the details you need in the description box So please be sure to check it out. I know a lot of you have asked for this shit so There you have it. It is oh so good. Just like I said, you just have to try it. You all know. So anyway, I have applied a lot of the shito onto it, including most of the oil as well, because you can use the shito as a marinade. That's why I love this product so much. During this lockdown, shito has been a lifesaver. Having a lot of it in my pantry, it's been amazing. So I've applied a lot, made sure it's seeped into those uh, incisions I made, and it's resting right now for about 20 minutes before I cook it. Right now I'm just prepping my bell peppers and I happen to have the yellow and the orange one in my refrigerator. So I just cut them to really large pieces. Add one medium sized red onion also cut up into large pieces. And I'm just going to lay it into my pan, my baking pan. And that's what the, the fish is going to go onto before I put it into the oven to grill. 
So make sure it's uh, stirred together and also add a little bit of the shito to season your vegetables. Now this shito is slightly mild because again, I'm making it for the consumption of the public. So therefore I have to put into consideration not everybody can tolerate so much heat. So it has that crunchiness. I made it the gankomikina shito style. Oh, now I've sprinkled a little bit of our um, suya spice mix and yeah, just rub it in really good. Make sure every piece of vegetable is coated well with these two lovely ingredients and place your marinated fish on top of it. And make sure that you have enough space between so they're not touching each other just like that so they don't steam, rather they grill. And don't leave any waste. No, 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 no. Scrape it all up and pour it onto the fish. Yes, the marinade, that is. And into the oven it goes. Now, the oven I've already started preheating. I'm going to broil this. Now, you see the fish is meaty, but it also has a flat um, character, right? It's not bulky. It's it's uh, etre, <laughs> just say it's flatter, so it's wider than thicker, right? So it's going to take a, lo a little um, time to cook. So therefore, I'm just going to use the broil option that sears the juices in inside the fish. Okay, so it prevents the juices from just seeping out completely. So the fish cooks really moist on the inside and yet it has a crusty crunchy outer layer it is so good so i have it on 500 um degrees fahrenheit but it's actually on the broil option so it's or the heat is going to be released from the top of the oven okay so you will need to go in after 10 minutes remove the fish because by then see how crusty it is oh and the skin is just perfect turn it and it's uncooked on the bottom Okay, so turn it, put it back into the oven for 10 minutes. Oh, and it's going to be perfectly cooked, juicy inside. Oh, and any juices it might release, and it might release a little bit of its flavor, really. And uh, it will be seeped into the vegetables on the bottom. Don't forget to sprinkle a little bit of your suya onto it and then also some of the shito and yeah, kind of rub it in. Yes, rub it in. <laughs> Literally rub it in. <laughs> All right, and then put it back into the oven for 10 minutes using the broil option again and you're done. Quick and easy and yet so delicious. What could be better than this, all right? This fed my entire family. And my, my husband is now eating fish. He used to be vegan, strict vegan, but he's eating fish because he needs to have this kind of protein in his diet. And he totally enjoyed this. Oh, so good. Just look at that. So the vegetables have cooked, okay, with a little bit of heat, but they maintained their crunchy freshness. It's beautiful. So yeah, we are ready to serve. Just look at that. All you see is deliciousness, but I need you to taste the deliciousness too. So make sure you grab yourself a jar of shito, especially from the Nabes Kitchen, because you will not regret it and plate all right make some fish any fish you like i really just wanted to showcase what shito can do for you it is the best and the ultimate marinade you would ever need in your pantry it goes on anything chicken i mean beef lamb just name it pork whatever you fancy and just look at this beauty right here oh Oh, it's so good. And this fish is so buttery in texture. It's moist on its own without really doing much to it. Yellow pompano is amazing. Great taste, great texture, moist, lovely. It's just everything you want in a fish. And don't forget to drizzle those juices because that's the best part. And it's served. Look at how beautiful this is. Imagine inviting friends over after this whole pandemic situation is over. You make some of this and whatever, you know, rice, fried yam, whatever it is. 
and you serve some of this fish with that cooked this way ah oh, they're gonna say mm, this lady has glass bow <laughs> just look how juicy it is I could not wait to dig in I had some of this with Ghanaian kinky kinky and some of the shit saw right here my husband and I enjoy this play together ah it was so good the ultimate indulgence this is what i i named this dish okay i thank you so much for watching i really hope that you're able to lay your hands on some of this shit all and use it in so many different ways because it is that versatile i've had it with bread you know i have put it in um some meat to make meat pie Ghanaian meat pie just beautiful it's just beautiful all right, there you have it. Thank you for watching, and as always, make it a great day and have fun, especially in that kitchen.